Well, here we are. Christmas is over, but not quite. In today's reading from Luke, we hear about a visit to see baby Jesus by shepherds. Why shepherds? After all, they're not high-powered individuals, just ordinary, everyday working people in the hills looking after their sheep. Yet God sent an angel to call them to visit the baby Jesus. Quite something, I think. But then, maybe God had a purpose for them. Perhaps the shepherds were needed to take the news of the birth of the Messiah across the land, to spread the word, to start the first little ripples of the good news in action. And that's the theme of this morning. Ripples sent out at Christmas. Let me explain. Have you ever walked along a beach and watched the water lapping along the sand in small ripples? Some ripples fizzle out and die away. But every so often, the waves meet up and create larger ripples. And as the larger ripples join together, they meet up and grow in size and become massive waves. <clears throat> the other thing that can happen is that the ripples may leave marks in the sand, which, as they harden, they become rock and leave their mark for all to see across time. With this in mind, we move to our reading from Luke. The reading from Luke follows the visit of the angel to the shepherds in the fields, telling of the birth of their saviour, their long-awaited Messiah. The angel has gone, leaving the shepherds stunned and saying to each other, we must go and see what this is all about. They leave their sheep and rush to Bethlehem. And, finding Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, they tell Mary all that the angel has told them. Mary treasured all these things and mused over them in her heart. What lovely, lovely words about the mother of Jesus. Then in verse 20 we read, The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. Something amazed, amazing had happened, and to ordinary people. The shepherds were very excited about it. Can you imagine their elation, jumping and whooping and praising, and then praising the long-awaited Messiah had been born, the Messiah born to bring them out of the tyranny they were living in. Verses 17 and 18 and 20, when they had seen him, they spread the words that had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had said to them. The small ripple had started. It would spread. And don't forget, the shepherds weren't like the shepherds of today. They travelled over large areas with their flocks and sheep, and the good news travelled with them. The ripple was slowly spreading across the countryside, through towns and villages. The Messiah has been born, and this was spreading into people's home. The Messiah has been born. Have you heard the news? You can almost hear the gospel travelling. The gospel travelling. I think that's great. It travelled. Our shepherds may have been the very first evangelists who set the, with the ripple going by praising and telling others of what they had seen that wonderful night over 2,000 years ago. The baby was born to become the man he was born to be, born to be our Messiah. I can't help wondering about the ripple effect within our church here. Over this Christmas, we've been sending out our own ripples to many people across our parish. There were 970 children and parents attending the various services with schools, Wallace Deans, Redlands and Ranvilles, our carol services, the children's carol service, the new blue service, plus the midnight service and the Christmas day service. And there were other Christmas ripples 
Our storytellers, Jeremy and Brian, going into the schools, telling the people, children of people in the Bible. A team of us going into Parker Meadows, spreading a ripple through there to the residents, the families and the carers. And don't forget our weekly coffee morning with lots of people coming into church every week. The ripple is still traveling, spreading the news in many ways. And what happens to those ripples, you may ask? Some will peter out. Some will travel and leave their mark in people's memories. Others will continue. They will continue and join other ripples. And one day, those larger ripples will travel back to churches Some will come to our church and will remember the times when they visited here and were welcomed. Just as the imprint of ripples and waves remain embedded into rocks, the ripples of the Christmas story will be embedded into our lives and churches. God chose shepherds in their fields to go to Bethlehem and seek out the Messiah. And the shepherds started to spread the word to all around them, and the word travelled. And it's the very same message that we send out to our own parish and beyond. Throughout our lives, we are the ripples of today. Each year as we celebrate the birth of Jesus, we sent out the ripple of Christmas to be spread throughout towns and countries all over the world. God tells us, his present-day shepherds, to go out and tell others of the good news of Jesus, the baby born to be king of the world. And I'll say amen to that.